Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. I am Zerul. I'll be your conductor for today's train wreck of an episode. Uh, today, we're going to go ahead and work on the second part of our factorization item processing, which is going to be taking our dirty gravel and getting this into a mixer. Now, this is a little more difficult than it sounds in it making this in such a compact way because the mixer um, requires, let me show you the mixer. Whoops, I had this in cheat mode from when I was testing it earlier on my test world. Uh, recipe mode, there we go. This requires a uh, fan, motor, some water buckets, lead, and a cauldron. It's not that difficult to make, but after you end up making it, it requires charge. It inputs from the sides, and the top outputs from the bottom. Um, and you have to, you can combine up to eight gravel with, um, one bucket of water and it has to be water buckets. It doesn't accept water source blocks like from directly from an aqueous accumulator. So we have to take, we've got to get water. We've got to get it into a, um, into a bucket. We've got to get that bucket combined with eight, at least, uh, no more than eight gravel. Then we've got to get the resulting components pulled out from the bottom. So I've got an idea of what we're going to do, and we're going to give this a try and see how this works. Let's see if we can get this in a compact location. All right, so let's see what we have over here. Do we actually have anything that's usable? I don't think I would do, but... Actually, no. We will need the energy tesseract. We'll keep a little bit of that around. Uh, do we need any of this stuff? Item router? Not yet. We'll need some lead wiring. Uh, let's see here. Chest. We are going to need some more chests. We're going to go make go make some chests up. Let's see here. Levers. Probably wouldn't hurt to have one, but I don't think we need it. So let's go ahead back to the main base. Now, my quarry is empty. I haven't moved it yet. I'm waiting until I can get this part done before I move it. Um, so I don't have a, too bad of a backup. Alrighty. So we need to make five mixers, which means five fan blades, five rotors. How much iron do we have? Not enough. Um, actually, I probably didn't grab enough. Let's head back real quick. Iron, iron, iron. So rather than automate it, we'll just smelt this the old-fashioned way for the time being. Well, old, as old-fashioned as you get when you're smelting ores inside of a uh, mod. Alright, and let's chuck some iron in. Like so. Iron... I've actually got three motors, so we're good on that. I do need more. Do I have any magnets? Let's see here. Let's just find out. I got enough magnets, so we're actually good in that regard. Insulated coil. I need some clay. And what am I missing? Iron and iron. Okay. So. Let's pull these seven out. And. Throw some more iron in the mix. All right, so two more motors. Well, I guess I got six motors now. Had more magnets than I thought, apparently. All right. The mixer, so we need a lot of that. Um, let's do that. And it is night outside. So we need five mixers. We're going to use aqueous accumulator to get our water generation. That's the easiest way to do that. I think, yeah, I've already got two, so that'll be fine. Let's grab some ice to generate our water. 
Uh, waterproof piping. It's all the same to me. Ooh, waterproofing and... Pipe, pipe, pipe. Yeah, we'll make some more. That's good enough. That should be sufficient for our purposes. Uh, let's make some more of that. Alright. Iron. If I can actually spell properly... There we go. One, two, three, four, five. So we need one, two, three, four, five of these. One, two. I need buckets of water. All right. Buckets. Come on, give me water. And one and two. So third mixer, fourth mixer. What are we missing? A cauldron, which I should be able to make pretty easy. And then another bucket of water for there. Okay, five mixers for our five ores that we're gonna process. Uh, we got lead wire to get our charge, aqueous accumulators to give us our water. Um, let's see here. Five empty buckets is actually all we need. Let's throw some more iron in. Uh, let's see here. Chest. Do I have any? I need some more. I think. Waterproof piping. We need the waterproof piping. Alright, the Tesseract we need because we're going to be using liquid transposers. There we go. We need five of these. Yep. All right. So. Yep. So we need five of all of this. So that. And then five redstone. And five buckets. Ah, copper. Wow, I am actually out of copper. How aggravating. Let's do that. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of these supplies, and I'll be back in just a minute once I uh, meet you back over at the, uh, the place. All right, so we're back. Um, so I lifted these up a little bit because I think we'll probably need the space. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go underneath here and set up... Actually, let's do this a little bit differently here. Turn our coin on. We're going to break these out. Because it's here. Turn the coin off. Copper. Copper. Gold. And tin. Try that again. So these are be these are going to be where our liquid transposers go. All right, so let's place these here. Like so. All right, uh, then we've got our mixers. Like that. We're going to knock the bottom of this out because we do need to output from the bottom. 
So this is all intentional like that. All right. Now let's go ahead and go under here. Now we need to feed water into the bottom. So blue on all of these. Like so. Cobblestone piping. Like this. Now, over here is where we're going to put our accumulator. So this is going to be just real, real quick and dirty here. So we'll just do it like this. All right, so that'll be the three. Actually, we're going to do this with two accumulators just in case. So we've got ice, 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 two accumulators, and a wall around them. Break this. Come on. Here we go. And a waterproof pipe between them. And because I had run out of pipe, give, give it a little bit of acceleration. All right. Let's go back up top. And this should give us, yeah, slowly filling up here. All right, we need to get all of these filled up, and then we'll see how quickly this gives us the water we need. In the meanwhile, we got to get this powered. Now, I think what I'm going to do is just uh, similar to what we just did a moment ago. We'll come in from the back. Break that. Now that's not going to work there. I have to fix that. So let's go under here real quick. No sound from the... Very strange. Very strange. Break. Thank you very much. That's a bit better. So there, there... Get all of this connected. And actually, we'll just make this the convenient spot for the Tesseract. Receiving energy. And... Not receiving energy. Oh, wait a minute. I have to, I have to turn the Tesseract... Or the things on the Tesseract around. Like that. Yeah, there we go. We're getting energy slowly. Definitely got to increase on my energy. Definitely got to increase my energy output. I think I'm going to have to revert to some, uh, some traditional lava sources there. Which if I do it, I'll just do it off camera. I'll show you there. We've, we've kind of been there and done that. Okay. All right, so we've got our liquid transposer, which is going to fill up with water buckets. Now, this is the secret here. The item translocator. So, this is too high. Ah, wait a minute. I knew I was doing something wrong. Let's break this real quick. 
Let's try that again. Just bring up just to bring each of those up by one. And go down there and find that fallen translocator. So one, two, three, four, five. Turn on the coin. Thank you very much. Anything else I've dropped? All right, let's try that again. Five translocators. Each one of them additionally configured to input from the bottom. Let's place this in here real quick. I'm gonna do this all the same way to keep everything neat and tidy. Okay. So the idea is we'll get we'll get a bucket of water. A bucket will go in here. It'll fill up and then it'll flow back into here. All right, so to do this, we're going to also set the right side to blue. Top will be red, the output. One, two, three, one, two, three. Like so, okay. Next, uh, actually, we'll need to do that. We'll need to go down a bit here to be able to reach it. But we're going to put a translocator at the bottom of each of these. And this is going to pull out, in this case, empty buckets. Now, the translocator, here, let's go up a level here and turn that off so it's easier to hear me. Translocator is one of Chicken Bones' mod, and it's pretty simple to make. Um, the item translocator is piston, gold, iron, redstone, and ender pearl. Makes two of those. When you click on it, um, you can tell, do a filter. Right now, these are kind of sticking out, so these are both outputs. Then we're going to do an output here, an output here, and an input here. Now, if you there are various modifiers you can put on these. I'm going to be using a diamond nugget modifier. What this does is this allows me to, to say exactly how much of something I want to put in here. So we want to have eight at a time. So eight. And then let's make one bucket of water like that. And this a bucket of water. So this will take... Um, at most eight at a time plus one bucket of water. We'll never have more than one bucket of water at a time. It'll combine them, then we can pull the output over here. All right. And then um, this will output. Well, let me just show you how this works. So we've got that in there. We've got our bucket of water here. We right click with empty fist. It starts pulling from there, and it pulls one bucket of water and silver gravel. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these. Um, oh, actually, let me just finish up this one. And we're going to go into an input chest here. And we're going to have another translocator. These are awesome. This is an awesome little mod. I am. This is one of the reasons here why I wanted to grab it. Let's grab our golden nuggets. I may not have made enough. 
Maybe I did. I think maybe I'm just... Just there. So, yeah, I think I've got just enough. Alright, I'm gonna, um, so... Let's go ahead, now we need to get a charge applied to this. We're gonna run the charge across the top. Because we can. Alright, so in this case here... No, wrong one. This one? No, this one. I'm gonna get it right eventually. Alright, so... Lead wire... We'll connect over here. And that'll connect into here, which will start churning this out. Now, the, the process, the way these mixers will work... Come on. There we go. There we go. Um, that's odd. I could have sworn it did eight at a time. Maybe, it, maybe it's uh, because I didn't have enough in there. All right, let's just let's get the rest of this charged up and let's see if this is going to work across like the top it should since it's touching it should all right have to watch my watch my drop there otherwise I'm gonna fall in the hole I instead I could run it along the floor. Might be an OSHA violation, but maybe a better option to go with. Alright. I'm going to get the rest of this set up, and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, everyone. Um, let me go ahead and preface what you're about to see here by letting you me tell you. This is actually a few days, nearly a week past I recorded the, the previous part of this here. I got this finished up, um, I got it recorded, I made a ending statement, and due to internet issues, I was not able to get it posted, so I decided I need to go back and re-record this part of it here, but because of a few things going on this end, including laziness, uh, and getting completely sucked into a, a, uh, a new book series that I'm reading right now, um, I just actually haven't done much gamer recently, so... And that's neither here nor now. We've got everything set up at this point. We've got everything finished. So here is the general idea. Oop. There we go. So the ores come out this way. They get fed into this chest. Right here. This chest feeds, tries to keep eight, uh, um, at least eight, or no more than eight, gravel, at a time, um, in here. This liquid transposer is filling up water and then getting the bucket of water sent through here, um, allowing it to clean the ore. When it's done, the clean ore and sludge filters into this chest. The empty bucket filters back into here using the trans um, the translocators here um, that chicken bone has made which are excellent ex is an excellent mod uh, there's not there's not a lot to it but I, it works it works beautifully I mean just look at it there so uh, th there we go um, I think we could we, it doesn't do it doesn't seem like it's it's charging very quickly or it's not using um, or not cleaning stuff very quickly here whoop but it's cleaning it quickly enough there. Uh, we are probably need more steam production going on, so we'll we'll work on that at a later point here. But there we have it. We have the mixers automated, um, which is the was actually more difficult than I was expecting. Um, I was hoping I could just do it uh, with just uh, you know 
pipes and things like that, but this turned out to be the easiest way that I was really able to get this done, and I got to use a new mod in the process, which is pretty cool. Um, so next up, these are going to go into slag furnaces, and the slag furnaces are going to um, feed into crystallizers. We're going to we're going to find some way of getting all that automated there. Um, the next episode of Feed the Beast may be a little bit off. I have vacation coming up. Um, I am going to visit my family for a week in Dallas, so I won't have any videos for probably about a week or so. Um, so expect the next video of Feed the Beast probably to be... If I don't get one out by Friday, then it should be um, a week from next Monday. So, if y'all have any suggestions about how to automate the crystallizer, is that seems to be the most painful one to realistically get automated, uh, please let me know in the comments. If you have any other suggestions or comments, um, feel free to drop me a line, and uh, hope you've enjoyed watching this. I've enjoyed making this, so have a great day, everyone. Good night.